the branches of uh, Chinese medicine or Asian medicine uh, in order of importance and the way they were taught 5,000 years ago um, in the classics of uh, Asian medicine, which we've talked about a little bit. Uh, beginning with meditation, uh, self-cultivation is the most important aspect for health and well-being. So again, this was uh, talked about 2,600 years ago, uh, 2,600 BCE, actually, so almost 5,000 years ago, uh, during the time of the Yellow Emperor. And uh, meditation and Qigong were considered the two most important essential branches of medicine. And uh, the most subtle and therefore the most powerful as they arise out of uh, our personal practice. Medical students were trained in these uh, two branches, actually in the eight branches, but specifically before they started uh, their acupuncture or herbal training, they were taught in the two branches of uh, self-cultivation through meditation and Qigong or Tai Chi. There's a variety of um, Qigong exercises, Gong Fu. Gong Fu basically means time in the art. And in order to perfect any uh, qualities, one has to practice. So Kung Fu basically means a time in the art of whatever the science you're practicing, whether it's uh, uh, medicine or uh, martial arts or any of the sciences, uh, one has to devote themselves to it and spend time in uh, in the practice. So meditation, Qigong is the second. Uh, the third that we talked about was diet and nutrition. You know, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. That is the basis of uh, a healthy body. And then uh, body work, massage, the twina. There's a variety of other aspects of Asian medicine to uh, tonify the body through hands-on uh, kind of manipulation or massage. And the fifth is a cosmological approach uh, to the correct view, the cycles, Bagua, I Ching, and uh, we talked somewhat about that as well. And the sixth is uh, more in the way of feng shui, and uh, astrology goes into this uh, somewhat. It's also based on the elements. And seventh is herbal medicine. And the eighth is uh, acupuncture. And, uh, you know, it's a little different situation uh, in the ancient times when the Chinese doctors were paid only as long as their patients uh, enjoyed good health. And uh, if a person became sick, by law, the doctor was required to give free treatments until the health was regained. A little different situation than we find ourselves in now. And for every patient that died, there was a red lantern that was hung outside the treatment center to warn others of the doctor's failure. So one had an incentive to uh, keep their patients well. And of course, uh, if uh, the cause of death was seen as a result of the doctor's incompetency or malpractice, then uh, the yellow or the red lantern would be hung on the doorway outside the treatment room or the treatment center. And it is said that there are, are basically three kinds of doctors. And uh, the lowest level doctors uh, treated patients when they were sick using acupuncture and herbs, considered the most invasive and radical emergency methods if it progressed to that level. And the advanced doctors diagnosed and treated diseases before it manifested physically, as we were saying, in the color, uh, the sound, the emotions, the pulses, the diagnostic uh, tools uh, that the uh, doctor practiced and studied uh, could uh, divert uh, or uh, create health and avoid disease. And by the pulses and other things, you could see the direction the patient was going in if no intervention was made. 
So the idea, again, was to maintain health, well-being, homeostasis in body, mind, spirit. And the highest level of doctor uh, had no patients and gave no medical uh, treatments. These are the great teachers imparted uh, maybe, um, you know, this did come out of a Taoist system, so the way of the Tao, but that's not uh, different than um, the Dharmakaya, really. The, the Tao is seen as the great oneness, and the Tao that can be spoken is not the true Tao, as we say. So they communicated this idea to their students and to their patients. So the Chinese system uh, uh, is not a description of the uh, status quo of elements. We talk about elements, but it is a dynamic, uh, constant phase or change, uh, as we see in the, in the seasons, as we see in our own body, as we uh, mature. The four phases being, you know, initial growth, maturation, decomposition, reabsorption into the whole. So this applies to all sorts of levels and all sorts of, uh, we, can, we can look at it uh, in the way of everything that we see on the planet, including the planet, had its, uh, its time of creation and will have its time of ending. So although the, uh, not strictly part of Buddhist studies, the uh, Chinese system of elements is integrated into Tibetan sciences. So we, just as review again, we spoke of the wood element, which has to do with the initial appearance and growth at the conclusion of winter when everything is uh, has decayed and is in a, a state of uh, suspended animation for the most part, everything's in hibernation. Then comes the spring and the renewed growth. The wood element is uh, often, you know, uh, given like a, a tree or a sprout, a new beginning, the sprout uh, coming up through the earth, the tender green shoots of spring denoting the appearance of the new. So this is the aspect of the wood element, like uh, branches growing or buds appearing out of the earth. This is closely related also to the wind element. We see the wind beginning to accelerate um, in, uh, in the spring and associated with the organs of the liver and gallbladder. And the, uh, the fire element, the wood is the mother of the fire element. It gives birth to the fire element. So we say the wood element is the mother of the fire. It takes wood to uh, create fire for the fire to burn. So this is very similar to the fire element uh, that we were, we were talking about, dynamic aspect of uh, the fire element, which comes to fullness in the summer. It's an analogy to the harvest, to ripening, to crops, to maturity. And uh, to our metabolic process as well, you know, it creates heat. The uh, fire element, of course, is associated with heat, as is the, uh, the time of day, which is high noon, the, the peak of uh, the day's heat and sun. and as I say, the summer as well. So the fire element, the two organs are the heart and the small intestine. The earth element usually follows, but uh, this is, the earth element is kind of a backdrop to all of this. Uh, it, uh, there's the, the seasons, that occur four times. And in between each of these seasons, we find uh, the uh, earth element in transition. So the earth element is often transition, but it's also uh, the scene as uh, like late summer or Indian summer. 
and it is the uh, child of the fire element. The fire creates earth, ash. And the uh, metal element and the, the two uh, organs associated with the earth element, as you remember, is the spleen and the stomach. And we're going to go through a little diurnal cycle to see how we can be in harmony uh, with this natural diurnal cycle, a uh, 24 hour cycle of which each of these organs has a two hour block of time that is at its peak and a two hour block of time that it is uh, at its ebb or uh, as low point. So following the earth, we have the, the wood, the fire, the earth and the metal, metal element um, begins the decaying process where things, uh, the leaves fall off the trees and go back into the earth and fertilize the, uh, the earth. It's a natural cycle. Sometimes it's seen as destructive. One can see this uh, uh, certainly at the end, the conclusion of a growth cycle, but it has reached its fullness and begins to deteriorate as the constitutional elements begin to gradually fall apart and become parts of other things. And this is associated with the autumn or the fall. The two organs associated with the metal element are the lungs and the large intestine, the taking in and the letting go. And the child of the metal is water. So we, we see again this creative cycle. There's also a, this is the mother-child relationship, but there's also an enemy and friend relationship with each of these organs, which we can go over as well, but um, it's probably not that important uh, for you to know that. But the water element is the cleansing uh, most yin aspect of our potential. So it's uh, typified by the winter, the cold, everything is in uh, withdrawal and latent stage of the cycle in which things decompose and then lie dormant as various constituents uh, prepare for their re-arising in the spring. In the body, the element is, as said, is associated with the kidneys and urinary bladder, water element, kidney and bladder. So those are the five elements and the organs associated with the, each of those. And there's a natural order of these elements um, and natural affinities, as I was saying, and conflicts between them. Just as we see in astrology, sometimes uh, when certain elements are uh, in conflict with each other, there can be uh, some difficulties in health, in, in moving forward, and those kinds of things. So we would say that the, uh, the fire element, for example, is the enemy of water, the latent state of potential is, uh, you know, fire uh, consumes water. And uh, so the wood element of water is the, just to take this example, just to see the, the correlation, uh, water is the mother of the wood element. The child is uh, fire, wood supports fire. The enemy is metal. And if we see the relationship of the five elements on a chart, the uh, metal element uh, cuts the wood, you know, like an ax we use to, to cut the wood. And uh, energetically, it is like that. And the friend is earth. If we were again looking at the five element chart, uh, earth has kind of uh, keeps the uh, wood element in check. So it doesn't ever exceed its bounds. The roots are in the earth. The earth uh, supports the, uh, the wood element literally and figuratively. The roots are secure in the earth, and it is seen as the friend. We can do that with each of the other elements. Any question about anything so far before we go on? So the other thing uh, that might be uh, good to do is a, um, a little meditation 
on um, the healing sounds for each of the uh, organs. We did that uh, for some of them, but we didn't do it for all of them. So to put it in a, in a practical sense, for example, if we were having problems with our liver, you know, some indigestion, some gas, some uh, problems, the liver, as uh, we, met, we, we talked about, was, is like a big enzyme factory, and it produces uh, bile that uh, is stored in the gallbladder. The uh, two organs, again, of the liver are, uh, or the wood element are the uh, liver and gallbladder, and they work. Uh, together. Uh, so uh, without that, our digestive system would be compromised, but the liver also moves blood and uh, nourishes the nails. So to have luster, you know, in the, uh, the nails, the fingernails, for example, and the eyes are nourished uh, by the wood element as well. So having red eyes or a lack of vision, we say that the uh, liver is associated with the official planning. So to be able to see down the road and to be able to plan and make decisions, uh, we have to have our liver in good order at the mental emotional level. So we have its physical components, its mental components, emotional components, etc. Et so uh, if there is a problem uh, with that, we can use what are called the six healing sounds. And uh, we'll go over those healing sounds. And some of you may remember, um, shh, it's like shh, is the healing sound for the wood element. The tendency for the wood element is to have a shouting voice and to be exuberant. Um, we mentioned the personality of the, the wood type uh, tends to be aggressive, tends to be uh, climbing the corporate ladder, uh, tends to really like to uh, get things done and as fairly aggressive as that uh, uh, wood energy begins to arise, culminating in, in the summer. But that new beginning is uh, very energetic. It takes a lot for that sprout to come out of the ground to the, and, um, and to grow. So the healing sound is shh. So I'm going to just... Uh, Give the instruction and then we'll do it together six times. It's uh, recommended to do this. Uh, it's done with an inhalation and an exhalation. So uh, you can just listen to the uh, instruction. If you choose to do it, you can do it along with this. Uh, so the sound uh, soothes the liver and gallbladder as we inhale and breathe in a brilliant pine green color. Green is the color associated with the uh, liver and know that the liver is on the right side in back of the, uh, uh, the ribs under the rib cage. And so we fill it with a brilliant green color on the inhale, filling the liver and gallbladder. Uh, and the emotions or the, the feeling with this is kindness. It's patience. Remember, we, we said that the, um, the paramita or the Virtue associated with the wood is patience. So uh, kindness, patience, peace, contentment. Inhale the brilliant green color, inhaling those qualities of kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. And then exhaling slowly uh, as you repeat the sound, shh, and imagining a murky green color uh, as you're exhaling. And this, uh, this sound helps to alleviate the uh, negative emotions associated with the liver, which is anger, depression, frustration, indecision, irritability, and the like. Those are the negative emotions or feelings associated when we have an imbalance in this wood element. So it helps to pacify that uh, negative aspect and we inhale the virtuous aspect as a um, pure green, pine green, rich pine green color. So you can close your eyes if you like, 
and just uh, follow my uh, instruction. So the sound soothes the liver and gallbladder. Inhale and breathe in a brilliant a green color, filling the liver and gallbladder with kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. And exhale slowly while repeating the sound and imagining a murky green color exiting with that sound and eliminating, alleviating anger, depression, frustration, indecision, irritability. And take a natural breath. And again, inhale and breathe in a brilliant pine green color, filling the liver and gallbladder with kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. Exhale slowly while repeating the sound shh, and imagining a murky green color as you eliminate anger, depression, frustration, indecision, irritability as a murky green color. Take a natural breath. Next, inhale and breathe in the brilliant green color, filling the liver and gallbladder with kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. And exhaling out all of your anger, depression, frustration, indecision, irritability as a murky colored green while repeating the sound. Take a natural breath. Again, inhale and breathe in the brilliant pine green color and fill the liver and gallbladder with kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. Exhale all of your anger, depression, frustration, indecision, irritability as a murky color green with the sound. Take a breath. Once again, inhale and breathe in the brilliant pine green color into the liver and gallbladder. And with it, kindness, patience, peace, contentment. And exhale all of your anger, depression, frustration, indecision, and irritability as a murky colored green with the sound. Take a breath, last time. Breathe in the brilliant pine green color. Fill your liver and gallbladder with kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. Exhale all of the anger, depression, frustration, indecision, and irritability, irritability as a murky colored green with the sound. Take a breath and smile down on your liver and gallbladder. Again, right quadrant in back of the, uh, the rib cage. And thank the liver for the job that it does in maintaining harmony and uh, as the official of planning and decision-making gives our, our life uh, uh, sustenance and allows us to carry out our goals, having the vision to see our place. But 
kindness, patience, peace, and contentment. Smile down on the liver and thank it for the job that it does for you every day. The next is the fire element in the heart and the small intestines. We're gonna go through a similar uh, sequence with the heart and small intestine. We're gonna be inhaling a brilliant red color, filling the heart and small intestine with joy, love, happiness, compassion, and exhaling while we repeat the sound, ha, ha. And imagining this uh, murky colored red and alleviating all of our sadness, agitation, cruelty, unhappiness, and anxiety as a murky colored red. So we can do that together. Inhale, brilliant red color, filling the heart and small intestine with joy, love, happiness, and compassion. And exhaling out slowly all of our sadness, our agitation, unhappiness, anxiety, as a murky colored red. Take a breath and inhale a brilliant red color, filling the heart and small intestine with joy, love, happiness, and compassion. Remembering that the uh, Perfection associated with this is enthusiastic perseverance. So this grants us again, the capacity for enthusiasm and joyous effort in our practice and exhale out all of our sadness, agitation, cruelty, unhappiness and anxiety as a murky colored red with the sound ha, H-A-A-A, -A -A, we can say ha. Inhale, brilliant red color, filling the heart and small intestine with joy, love, happiness, and compassion. And exhale slowly. And with the exhale, all of your sadness, agitation, cruelty, unhappiness, and anxiety is a murky colored red. Inhale, brilliant red, filling the heart and small intestine with our enthusiastic perseverance, joy, love, happiness, and compassion, and exhaling all of our sadness, agitation, unhappiness, and anxiety as a murky colored red. And take a breath. And on the next inhale, the inhale brilliant red, filling the heart, small intestine with joy, love, happiness, and compassion. And exhaling sadness, agitation, unhappiness, anxiety as a murky colored red. Inhale, brilliant red, into the heart and small intestine, and with it, joy, love, happiness, and compassion, and breathe out all of the sadness, agitation, unhappiness, and anxiety as a murky colored red. We do that six times. This is the last time. Inhale brilliant red color into the heart and small intestine, filling it with joy and love, happiness and compassion. And exhale out the negative emotions, feelings of sadness, agitation, cruelty, unhappiness, anxiety as a murky colored red with the sound ha. Ah. and breathe naturally.
The next healing sound is associated with the earth element in the stomach and spleen. We're going to be inhaling a brilliant uh, yellow, yellowy orange color into the spleen and stomach, filling them with security, clarity, groundedness, and serenity. And exhaling while repeating the sound, who, like a who, and imagining uh, a murky colored orange and eliminating our clinging, our neediness, our obsessive thoughts and worry as a murky colored yellow yellowish orange color. Remembering the virtue here is generosity, giving. So um, again, inhale, brilliant orange, yellowy orange color into the spleen and stomach, filling them with security, clarity, groundedness, serenity, generosity, and exhaling all of your clinging, neediness, obsessive thoughts, and worry as a murky colored yellow, orange. Breathe in the brilliant yellow color into the spleen and stomach filling them with security, clarity, groundedness, serenity, and generosity, and exhale out the sound with the sound who, all of your clinging, neediness, obsessive thoughts, and worry as a murky colored yellow or orange. The stomach is seen as yellow and the spleen is orange, so that's why I'm saying it's kind of a a, a, a yellowy orange color. Again, inhale the brilliant orange into the spleen and stomach, filling them with security, clarity, feeling grounded and serene, generous, and exhale out all of your clinging, neediness, obsessive thoughts and worry as a murky colored orange. So these are actually exercises that we can do to enhance the organ function. The mind, uh, the energy goes where the mind goes. So as we think about these, uh, and ev everything has vibration, the colors has a certain vibration as well and is healing to the organs. So again, as you inhale the brilliant orange color into the spleen and stomach, fill them with security, clarity, groundedness, and serenity, generosity. And as you exhale, alleviate and exhale with the sound, who, all of your clinging, neediness, obsessive thoughts, and worry, let it go. Mama, yeah. Would you r remind me? Uh, spleen is yellow, stomach is orange, or is it the other way around? Uh, usually, we say the st the spleen is orange and the stomach is yellow. Okay, thank you. And and the sound, who, or is there a, a yes, another? Yes, like we would like W H O O O. Okay. Who? Thank you. Again, inhale the brilliant yellowy orange into the spleen stomach, filling them with security, clarity, groundedness, and serenity. Exhaling out slowly the murky colored yellow and with it all of our alleviating our clinging neediness, obsessive thoughts and worry. One more time, inhale the brilliant yellowish orange into the stomach and spleen, filling them with security, clarity, groundedness, and serenity. And exhale the sound who, and with it, all of your neediness, clinging, obsessive thoughts, and worry as a murky colored yellow.
and take a natural breath. All right, we're halfway through. How's everyone doing? Are you doing okay with this? Yes. Very fine. All right. Very uh, good. Next is the, uh, the healing sound for the lungs and the large intestine, the metal element. And the sound is s s s s like so you're just kind of breathing through your your teeth and making that sound so this uh, healing sound uh, for the lungs and large intestine we're inhaling a brilliant white color into the lungs You can see it as brilliant uh, white sparkles into the lungs and large intestine. Brilliant diamond uh, colored light into the lungs and small intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness and acceptance. And then exhaling um, all of our grief, our sorrow, our melancholy, our feelings of isolation as a murky colored white. OK, we'll do that together. Again, the uh, virtue for this is ethics, morality, justice. So inhale the, the uh, brilliant white or diamond sparkles into the lungs and large intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness, acceptance. And exhaling with the sound all of our grief, our sorrow, melancholy and feelings of isolation as a murky colored white. Inhale, brilliant white or diamond sparkles into the lungs, large intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness and acceptance and exhaling all of your grief, sorrow, melancholy, feelings of separation, isolation, as a murky colored white with the sound sss. Inhale, brilliant. Diamond sparkles. Brilliant white into the lungs and large intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness, and acceptance. And exhaling out all of our feelings of grief, sorrow, melancholy, isolation, as a murky colored white with the sound. Again, inhaling brilliant white, diamond sparkles into the lungs and large intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness, and acceptance. Exhaling out, grief, sorrow, melancholy, isolation as a murky colored white with the sound One more time, inhaling brilliant white, diamond sparkles into the lungs and large intestine, filling them with inspiration, confidence, worthiness, acceptance, and exhaling out all of our grief, sorrow, melancholy, feelings of isolation, abandonment, etc., as a murky colored white with the sound So smile down again, uh, we did uh, with the liver, smiling down on the liver and thanking it for the job that it has done for us and continues to do every day, every minute of every day. And smile down on the heart, 
and the small intestine, thanking them for the job that they do. The heart is the supreme controller, the official of uh, the monarch of the body, mind, spirit, and the small intestine, the official that separates the pure from the impure. It uh, takes in what we need and sends the rest off for the, to the large intestine to be eliminated. It's to toxic waste. So uh, smile uh, down and thank the heart and small intestine for the job that they do for you every day, every minute. The heart constantly beating and the small intestine doing its job to nourish every cell of the body. And smile down on the stomach and spleen and thank it for the job that it does in maintaining nutrition. The stomach rots and ripens. It's the official of rotting and ripening of food. It goes into the stomach, prepares it for uh, assimilation by the small intestine, and the spleen distributes the uh, uh, that to the cells. Also works uh, to enhance our immune system and stores blood, and we thank it for the job that it does, stomach and spleen. Smile down. And then uh, what we just did with the lung and large intestine, lungs, the official that receives the pure chi from the heavens with every breath and oxygenates uh, our body. Every cell needs oxygen, and it delivers uh, the oxygen to the cells, to the red blood cells that deliver it to the organs, and the large intestine, the official of elimination, the garbage man of the body that keeps the body clean by eliminating toxic waste. So we thank the lungs and the large intestine for the job that they do every day in maintaining health and balance. The next is the water element and the kidneys and bladder. So this sound, foo, foo, F-O-O-O, -O -O, foo, foo, um, is cleansing to the kidneys and bladder. As we inhale, we're going to inhale a brilliant blue color into the kidneys and bladder, filling them with courage, strength, vitality, and wisdom. And exhaling slowly as we repeat the sound, foo, and imagining a murky color blue, and with it, we're eliminating our fear, our panic, our timidity, our doubt as a murky colored blue. And the official, the um, virtue here is concentration or contemplation. In terms of our meditation. So, Inhale brilliant blue color. It can be sky blue into the kidneys and bladder, filling them with courage, strength, vitality, and the capacity for concentration, contemplation, and exhale all of your fear panic, timidity, and doubt as a murky colored blue with the sound foo. foo. It could be uh, vocalized or subvocal. You don't have to really um, vocalize it. It can be subvocal or just under the breath. Foo. Inhale brilliant blue color into the kidneys and bladder, filling them with courage, strength, vitality, contemplation, capacity for concentration. And exhale slowly with the sound foo. All of your fear, panic, timidity, doubt as a murky colored blue. Once again, inhaling the brilliant blue color into the kidneys and bladder, filling them with courage, strength, vitality, and wisdom.
Exhale slowly and re repeat the sound fu, and with it, eliminate all of your fear, panic, timidity, and doubt as a murky color blue. And last time, inhale brilliant blue into the kidneys and bladder, filling them with courage, strength, vitality, concentration, contemplation. And exhale all of your fear, panic, timidity, and doubt as a murky colored blue with the sound foo. and uh, take a, a breath. So that uh, completes the five elements, but there is one more of the, there's six healing sounds in this breathing instruction. And the last one, he, H-E-E-E, -E -E, he, uh, this sound relaxes the central nervous system and the cardiovascular system it improves digestion and balances the endocrine system, uh, bringing balance and homeostasis to all the organs. And here we see our body as a, a glass container or a hollow container. And where you fill it with rainbow light. So all of the uh, colors are present as rainbow light. And the sixth uh, paramita is wisdom. So inhale the brilliant, uh, colorful rainbow into the body and repeat the sound he and imagine your body as a glass container full of rainbow light, purifying all the organs of the body in body, speech, and mind, relieving stress, tension, and anxiety. Again, inhale, brilliant rainbow light, while slowly repeating the sound he on your exhale, imagine a glass container full of rainbow light and relieving you of any residual stress, tension, and anxiety. Inhale the rainbow light, seeing your body as a glass container or transparent container filled with rainbow light and exhale any residual stress, tension, and anxiety. Inhale, brilliant rainbow light, filling all of the organs and all of the body with this rainbow light. And as you repeat the sound he on the exhale, the sound relieves any stress, tension, and residual anxiety, purifying body, mind, spirit. Inhale again the brilliant rainbow light. And exhaling with the sound he. Any residual stress, tension, or anxiety. 
Continue to fill your body with brilliant rainbow light, visualizing your body as a transparent container. Exhale out any stress, tension, and anxiety. So we didn't smile down on the uh, kidneys and the bladder, so we'll take a moment to thank the kidneys and the bladder for the job that they do for us every day. The kidneys are the official of uh, Waterworks and uh, help with the transformation, the transportation of water. for hydration, electrolyte balance, and the rest. And the bladder is seen as a source of reserve of energy. So we thank its body, as its function, the bladder, as the official that stores the water and eliminates uh, fluid waste. The kidneys purify and the bladder eliminates that fluid waste. So we thank the kidneys and bladder for their job. And we thank the entire body as we smile down on the body for the job that it does every day in providing health and well-being and stability in body and mind. 